Hey, what up, Geeks Crew? Today I'm going to be doing a brief video on how to fall asleep when you have a busy mind. I've done a video in the past uh, with tips on different methods of falling asleep or how to have a better sleep, but I never covered what to do if your mind is busy. It's just something that a lot of people struggle with, sometimes daily. So uh, I just want to share what has worked for me. The trick that I use to fall asleep when my mind is racing or busy or I can't shut it off is something that I learned to do when I was learning how to meditate and how to still your mind and how to shut the rest of the world out. It's that same method, but I use it when I'm falling asleep. One thing that can help you uh, still your mind and just enough to fall asleep is to focus on certain things. You're not shutting your mind off completely. There's no way to just flick a switch and you're out like a light. It's allowing your mind to think, but only letting it think about certain things. So for example, this is what I do. In my bedroom, I have a humidifier and I have a fan. Those things are going all night. They, they help me fall asleep. But if you have a busy mind, then what good is a fan gonna do, right? If your mind's racing about regrets in the past or what you have to do tomorrow, but there's a way to make it work. So as I'm lying in bed and my mind is racing, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna focus on the noise of the fan. And as soon as my mind drifts, I think, nope, back to the fan. Focus on the fan, listen to what the fan sounds like. So that's my one focus thing. And then I try and focus on at least one other thing. So the fan and the humidifier. I listen to the bubbling or the low hum of the humidifier and the fan. So anytime my mind drifts, I think about the fan. If I don't want to think about the fan, I think about the humidifier. I go back and forth. There's one more thing that I think about, and this usually knocks me out. I think about how tired I am. I think about how tired my legs are, how tired my knees are, if I worked out or if I just had a busy day on my feet, or even if I just know that I'm tired but I can't fall asleep because my mind is racing. I just think about how tired I am, how comfortable the bed is. I think of the contact of the mattress on my body. That can be one thinking point. I think about my head on the pillow. That's another thinking point. So as I'm lying there, my mind's racing, thinking about whatever, I think, no, listen to the fan. Think about how tired you are. Think about the fan. Think about how tired you are. And I just go back and forth. I think about how comfortable the bed is, how comfortable the pillow is. I think about how hard I work today and how much I deserve this rest. I just get into this meditative state where I just force myself to relax and my mind is only thinking about those things. When you try really hard not to think about stuff, you're inevitably gonna think about things. It's like your mind is gonna go opposite the way you want it to. But if you allow it to think and you just channel your thinking energy into something else, that can really help you fall asleep. That's the main talking point of the video, but something else that I did mention in the other video and I think is worthwhile mentioning is that if you're someone who's like really productive and you're just thinking about all the things you have to do the next day and you can't stop thinking about what you have to do the next day, get out of bed, turn a light on, make a list, make a little brief to-do list. Like tomorrow morning, I want to do this, 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 and you lie down in bed. And then as your mind starts to race and you think about the things you have to do, you'll be like, oh, no, I made a list. I'm good. I don't have to think about these things endlessly. And then you go to sleep. And if you think back about it again, that can be one of your thinking points, right? You think about your bedroom fan and your list, back and forth. I'm ready for tomorrow, the fan is soothing. So if you don't have a fan, um, I mean, I'd recommend some kind of noisemaker if you're someone who struggles to fall asleep. Your thinking points could just be the bed, could be the hum of the refrigerator or something, right? Just channel your mental energy into something else. So that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Class next out.